Well, it appears that the casino for uh, New Haven, Indiana is starting to move along at a pretty interesting pace. Now, obviously, it still has to be approved by the state legislature, but, but apparently the folks who own the casino might be thinking that, hey, this is going to happen simply because the state of Indiana will make so much more money than they're making currently where the location is down at Rising Sun. As I said, Rising Sun is not a good place for a casino because there's other casinos very close to it that are a lot nicer, larger, more flashy, whatever. And uh, so the revenue they're getting is not meeting up what they projected for for the state of Indiana. Now, the uh, folks at the, uh, at the casino have started something kind of interesting, and it's going to be coming up in the month of November, the 13th and the 19th of November. On the 13th, from 2 to 3.30 p.m., they are asking people in the construction industry to stop on by Rack and Helen's Bar because they're taking, going to have a construction fair. Now, between you and me, I am sure a lot of construction companies have already been in touch with the uh, Rising Sun owners. My guess is they have. But there's all sorts of parts of construction to be done. And now they're giving these organizations and groups and companies a chance to come out and pitch their wares, pitch their ability, and uh, maybe get picked to uh, do some of the things for this project. This is going to be a big project, folks. I have seen the plans for it. And it doesn't look like the normal casino you and I think about, you know, in Las Vegas, glitzy and glamour and the lights and everything. No, actually, this kind of looks like a big college campus, in my opinion. Or maybe like, uh, oh, the electric works downtown. Somewhere in that line. I mean, it's brick, it's glass, but it's not flashy, it's not gaudy. Hotel looks very, uh, almost like the old Ormond Hotel downtown. I mean, classic style, classic architecture. And a lot of glass on 90, what, 90 plus acres. So they're dealing pretty good space, big hotel. They're going to have a concert venue. I mean, a lot of stuff going on. But the look is actually kind of, well, kind of cool. Not flashy, not gaudy. Well, anyway, on the 13th, they're asking for construction people. And then, here's the other interesting one. On the 19th, they're saying to uh, people out there who do the laundry and food and beverage and provide all the uh, essential services that go into a casino like this to come in and, and make their pitch. So right now they're telling folks, look, you want to be in on the action here. You want to be in on uh, working on this thing. Come on in. They're going to be down at Rack and Helens and on Broadway in downtown New Haven. Rack and Helens, by the way, is a pretty nice place. I mean, it really is. So they think it's going to be going on. They think it's big. Now, the only thing we haven't heard yet is what it's going to be named. I don't think it's going to be called the Rising Sun because, well, that eh, ain't going to work. Whatever they decide for Fort Wayne and New Haven, which I'm going to say is a New Haven casino, it's going to be on the southeast corner of 469 and Highway 30. That's a developed area, a lot of uh, commercial stuff. You know, they have the uh, the big uh, truck park or the big truck truck stop, if you will. There's commercial companies out there, automotive all kinds of stuff, and so it's going to kind of make the area look even dressier, cooler, but not gaudy. Trust me, this ain't going to be a gaudy-looking place. This is going to look like a very nice college style, very nice business style. Not fancy, not gaudy, pretty cool. Anyway, just thought I'd pass that along to you. Now you know what's going on. The casino seems to be moving, and it looks like it's going to make New Haven look pretty doggone cool.